All right, we are back now in the CI Kitchen with our guest chef, Carrie Anderson. We are so glad that you have been spending the hour with us here. We have been making a twist on West African peanut stew, yes. but what's the twist? So the twist is that I used rotisserie chicken instead of a more traditional bone-in chicken. I added kale, which is not a traditional ingredient, um, and I pre-roasted my sweet potatoes, cooled those down, so I took some steps in advance as kind of my meal prep um, and used a few ingredients that are a little bit easier to work with. Well, mm -hmm. no shame in that yes. game. Let's talk a little bit about what it went into this because before we, we um, earlier, we, we kind of missed mm. the kale, the chicken, and the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. So let's kind of remind everybody how this got started. Sure, so um, once we added in that broth and the tomato puree and let that cook down, we whisked it really well to make sure everything was nice and smooth. Then we just added in our quick cook ingredients, what I like to call them, the pre-cooked chicken, the pre-cooked sweet potatoes, and the chopped kale. And then we just let that all come together and get nice and hot and all the flavors combined. Well, there you go. What would you serve with this? I usually serve it with some rice on the oh. side, um, but it is good um, on its own. I've garnished it with a little bit of peanut, green onion, and cilantro. Okay, now earlier we were kind of talking about how your mom was a big inspiration yes. um, with you. What kind of food do you see yourself like gravitating towards when, when it comes to cooking? Sure. Um, Southern food really does remind me of family and home, but as a chef, I am inspired by flavors that I've not had before, um, that I'm not familiar with. That's really what excites me um, and what I really try to spend a lot of time learning about. And you also inspire everyone out in the Facebook community I try. by we joining inspire. your group. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about that group mm -hmm. and what people will learn and benefit from being a part of it. Sure, yeah. So like I said earlier, we share lots of recipes with each other. Um, food is, it means community really, so folks have met each other um, that maybe lived in the same town and never even knew it. Um, people have bonded over things they have in common that are food centered. Um, we talk about meal prepping on Sundays. We talk about on Monday what we're looking forward to eating. Just lots of really great conversation. Well, very good. And this looks amazing. I wish everybody at home could smell it. We're gonna dive in here, but if you want to learn a little bit more about Carrie's recipe, maybe you want to be a part of her group and get on all that meal planning action, there's a look at the Facebook group. We will also have that as well as the QR code over at CILiving.tv. We will also have a copy of her recipe at CILiving.tv.